find the finals. We're going to provincial finals, baby, thanks to our star shooting guard. Casey! Ah! <laughs> That's my name. Wear it out. Don't wear yourself out. Um, I want to hug and twirl too, or at least a kiss. Where am I? Someone's popular. I guess it's the first time for everything. Marco. Should I say hey, teach? Hey, that's student teach to you. Ready for your first day of Degrassi again? Who's your placement with? Perino. <laughs> you need this. As if I wasn't nervous enough. At least you won't be hungry. I saved you the last gone. Thanks, HJ. Hey, I thought you worked the PM shift. Oh, I'm not working. Declan here can't do without his morning dot Java fix. Did you catch So You Believe You Can Boogie last night? Uh, yeah. Johan, so dreamy. Well, I hate to be the responsible one, but if you guys don't boogie, you're gonna be late, so. Uh, wish me luck. You won't need it. You've got a built-in fan base. As if you needed an excuse to break out your bikinis, our finals-bound midget boys basketball team will be sudsing it up at the Athletic Association's car wash. Make sure to spread the word and get your family and friends to come out. My half-brother's here with his truck, and he's been running all weekend. Sounds dirty. A truck, I mean. When do I get to meet your family? My parents aren't really around. Uh, but he has me. Uh, one question. What is mudding? One, take pickup truck. Two, drive through mud. Three, it's awesome. Sounds awesomely awesome. You should come sometime. Kyle, uh, these are my friends, Claire and Casey. Oh, you're KC? Oh, the man, the legend. Mucho chatter about you in our house lately. Shut up, Kyle. Is that Coach's girlfriend? Help me something in the trunk, boys. Our team jackets. Where are you going, KC? Couldn't afford one. What would the stock market tumble? It's cool. Hey, ladies. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Watch your back. Establish dominance early. Otherwise, these kids will eat you up alive. Thanks, Dom, but there's been a lot of progress made in classroom management techniques since you were in teacher's college. It's your funeral. I appreciate the support. People, like to introduce myself. I am Marco Del Rossi. Now call me Marco. Mr. Del Rossi is my dad. Is he a midget too? <laughs> hey, you know what they say, the shorter the man, bigger the brain? How tall are you? <laughs> Down to business. So, did you guys know that right here in Toronto... Is there something on my face? Oh, here, Mr. Lincoln, let me walk that out for you. It's on, Jeffrey! <laughs> Man, I am soaked. I really have to get Jenna back. I think that's exactly what Miss Flirty Fruit wants. What? Claire, we're just playing around. Having fun? You should try it. I am trying. Oh, I'll help. Ah! KC! How was that fun? Ah, my contact. I fell out. Whoa, 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 careful. 
the water off. Sure, we can't have you scrubbing cars all one eyed. Casey, it's fine. Jenny, your butt crack's showing. I have spare contacts inside. You totally rocked the class, ba. Treat students like adults. They will respect you like adults. Ugh, totally. I should know. I'm swamped with near grown-up responsibilities. Babysitting biz, student council, this athletic banquet tomorrow night. I'm a chaperone. We could show off our dance moves. Nope, I can't go. Unless you give me an extension on Perino's essay. <laughs> it's not really my jurisdiction. Please, Marco. It's been so long since we've had a teacher who really remembers what it's like. OK, extension granted one day only. <clears throat> So, we got the extension. Me? The way your game's improved, you better start practicing smiling for the NBA cameras. Smiling just lets the world know you're scared. Little tip for my jailbird dad. Oh, oh, hold up, your dad's in prison? Mommy too. Drugs are bad. So am I, apparently. Hey, what the hell are you talking about? My girlfriend keeps getting mad at me. She never used to. It's my fault. I looked at another girl, like, once. KC, having eyes for other girls doesn't make you bad. It makes you 15. Come on. The blonde cheerleader? I get it. You don't get anything, coach. And it's none of your business, OK? Sorry, champ. Just trying to help. at the car wash. You really don't know? We were all having fun, but then you lost your mind. What's up with you? Jenna's trying to edge me out, and you're letting her. Claire, nobody's edging anyone out. I'm allowed to be friends with other girls, you know. And flirt with them, too? Coach thinks it's normal to look at other girls. Really? So do you do everything the coach says? No. But we just make each other mad. What do you mean? If we can't be happy, maybe we shouldn't be together. So we're breaking up? Yeah. I guess we are. I'm sorry. Just tell me one thing. How long have you liked her? I tried not to, Claire. Sure. If it helps, think of the Young Street Rebellion as a celebrity feud with pitchforks. Fits, my good man. So we're getting an extension on this essay? Because Holly J and Declan got one. Sweet, now I can gear up for the banquet tonight. 
I'm not spending my weekend marking this just because you can't sprout a backbone. It's not that black and white. You know what is black and white? Your evaluation that I type. Okay, guys, sorry, but your essays are due today via email at 6 p.m. before the athletics banquet. Now, that's what I call classroom management. Hey, nice pants. So, you're... Team doing good? Yeah. Your coach came by. He left something for you. Right on. Huh. Did he buy you that? I guess so. He's, uh, it's pretty awesome. I'm gonna be late. Curfew is still 9.30. Hit me again, Spin. Careful, little bell. You'll be up all night. I may have to be. Chaperoning the banquet, marking papers. You're officially the man. Hey, how'd your essay go? It didn't. What? Why? Look, I know you have to treat me like everyone else when we're in class. Because you're a student, Holly J. Yeah, I know. Us kids can be so frustrating, so I'll just hand it in tomorrow. No big. Let's go. Gonna be late for the jock jam. See you there, Marco. <clears throat> Marco, even for Holly J, that was. <laughs> Guess I need a new lesson plan. Hey, superstar. Is that a jacket? Did you steal it? That is totally legit. Nice threads. Thanks. You, you didn't have to do this. You earned it. Be proud. I broke up with Claire. We're, we're too different. One thing I can tell you is you gotta go after the things you want. Maybe I will. Welcome to a celebration of an amazing athletic year at Degrassi. You know, the first thing I look for in a player is a love for the game. And these guys have it in spades. It's more than a coach could ever ask for. Their commitment, combined with dedication and hours of hard work, made each and every Hi. one of them into great basketball players. I like players. your jacket. But I, I like have to your pick one. everything. Give it up for KC. K.C. Guthrie, get up here. You just won most improved player. <laughs> um, Panthers rule. Guard and a bouncy cheerleader. Oh, I smell a power couple in the making. Yeah, so powerful they pushed Casey's girlfriend right out of the way. That's not how it is. Jenna, you've been trying to steal Casey since day one. I guess all it took were a pair of pom poms, huh? You don't know anything about anything, Allie. I know exactly what Claire's face is gonna look like when she finds out about this. I'm gonna go get some punch. Tough crowd, huh? Hey. You and your girl want to get out of here? Get some privacy? My room key. Room 309. Take your time. 
Oh. Jenna, wait up. Look at the size of the bed. There's a whirlpool tub. <laughs> oh, look at this. You know that's probably a $10 chocolate bar. When I know what I want, I go after it. Coach, I just want to grab my wallet. I don't want to interrupt. Pretend I'm not even here. I should head back to the party. It's almost my curfew. Hey, don't worry. Um, while we're here, I get a few thoughts on a new play. Let, let me give Todd a call. Tell him I'll drive you home later. Awesome. Jenna, is that OK? Sure. I'll see you later. Hey, Todd. It's Coach Carson. I'm here with Casey at the Athletics Banquet. Yeah, yeah. He just won Most Improved Player. Yeah, great. Listen, I was wondering if we could extend his curfew for the night. <laughs> Marco. I was just about to go to the washroom. No more avoiding me, young lady. I guess you'll be taking the zero. What? Everyone else handed in their assignments on time. What's wrong with you? Nothing. Just doing my job. OK, first you said I could have extra time, and then you took it back. What am I supposed to believe? Fine. We compromise. I'll submit your paper for marking if the timestamp on your email falls before midnight. Tonight? That only gives me two hours to finish. Hope you've done your research. Uh, Marco, you're such a teacher. That's Mr. Del Rossi to you. You gotta cover the job. You take a breath, then shoot. Okay, coach. Got it. You brought all your stuff. Stay in here while I coach at Degrassi. I'll move on after the finals. Gotta keep mobile. Oh. That sucks. Let's enjoy the time we got left. Here. We'll tell the rest of the team, OK? I only drink with my most improved players. OK, yeah. To you. Killing it on the court to our new friendship. Cheers. To victory. I remember my first day of teaching. Did you bring your own strap? Try a guitar. And sitting in a circle on the floor, I mean, it was algebra class. And you thought I was soft. Well, it's not about being soft, or a hard ass for that matter. It's about being what these kids need. A teacher? They have plenty of friends. <laughs> Thanks, Don. That's Mr. Perino. Right. Hey. Leave room for the Holy Ghost. What ghost? Just not in front of a teacher, OK? Excuse me. Uh, no excuse required. I'm not your grandma. It's almost midnight. I, sh I should get home. Sorry, buddy. Can't drive. Bruise went down too easy tonight. 
Hey, why don't you crash on the pull-up? If you think that's okay. Hand me your phone. I'll call Todd. What is it? Going home, see you tomorrow. Kisses, Jenna. Kisses. <laughs> Sorry, I interrupted earlier. <laughs> Whatever. I, I mean, you know. It sucks, right? When you get all riled up, you gotta stop. Not that I would have had any idea what to do next. <laughs> well, how about we get you some visual aids? Uh, hello, adult pay-per-view. You like blondes, right? Betty does Barcelona. That's a good one.